Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Rishabh from Ascending Techie, and this is a follow up video to the best tile size for your Blender renders. In that video, we concluded that the larger the tile size you set, the faster your renders will complete. We also concluded that hybrid rendering was the fastest way to achieve minimum render times on a system with relatively old hardware and a weak GPU like the 2GB 940MX. In this video, we will take a look at the same tests run on a system with modern hardware. The specs of the new system are Ryzen 7 3700 8-core 16-thread processor with 32 gigabytes of 3600 MHz CL18 RAM kit and colorful iGame RTX 3080 Ultra OC 10GB GPU. The laptop on which the testing for the previous video was done has an i5-7200U 2-core 4-thread processor, 16GB RAM running at 2133 MHz and NVIDIA GeForce 940MX 2GB graphics card. It was quite an upgrade. I know some of you are waiting for the video on the new PC build that I just did and it will be up next week, right after this video. All of this testing is done on the latest version of Blender as of now, which is 2.91. To change the device used for your renders, go to Edit, Preferences, and then System, and check whether you have it set on CUDA if you have a NVIDIA GPU. As I also said earlier, if you have a RTX graphics card, switch to Optics, which is Spoiler alert, much faster as it takes advantage of the RT cores, which is better than CPU plus GPU hybrid renders. I'm still using the same file from previous video and all the renders are at 1920 into 1080p resolution with the resolution percentage at 200%, which you normally use at 100%. And the samples are at 150, which is quite a lot. We are also denoising the image at the end to simulate a real-world scenario where you would do the same as well with your projects. So obviously we know that our render times for only CPU, only GPU and CPU plus GPU hybrid renders will be much faster than the previous system. But that is not what we are here to compare. With a weaker system, we concluded that CPU plus GPU hybrid render system with the largest possible tile size gave us the fastest render output times. But surprisingly enough, that is not the same case with the latest hardware anymore. The slowest times we got were with only CPU being used to render. And according to my testing, 128 by 128 was the best tile size for the fastest renders with the time three minutes and 19 seconds. Then comes hybrid CPU plus GPU rendering with render times decreasing with increase in tile size with the render times approaching 1 minute and 0 seconds at best. In my opinion, the CPU is actually slowing down the render with hybrid, so the results would be different with a 5800X or 5900X instead of the 3700X. The fastest render times were seen with only GPU rendering the image, cutting down times to almost half at 31 seconds. But remember that this render is using the CUDA codes to render and Optics uses the RT codes to render the image, which manages to reduce the render times relative to CUDA. Thus, when using Optics to render the image, our render times cut down by another six seconds, that is a 25 second render time at best. So you can see the best method that you can use for rendering on a device with older hardware is different to what you might use on newer hardware. You are better off using optics on a newer device, just like using hybrid was better on older systems. I hope this gives you an insight on how you can achieve the fastest render results on Blender. Join our Discord server. The link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.